I am here at Polka Dot Gallery where we have six lovely Kenyan women artists mm -hmm. who are exhibiting starting at International Women's Day, March 8th, mm -hmm. and their show is continuing. Sebawali Sio is one of the six. Hi. And when Hi. did you start painting? In high school. Ah, in high school in Kenya? Yes. Uh huh. Did yeah. you have art classes? Yeah, I took high school up to Fungfo, so KCSE. Uh -huh. Where was that? Uh, Loreto Convent Valley Road. I think Loreto Convent was pretty good on art. Yeah? Yes. There were a number of them. Yes? Yeah. And then what about um, in college? I think you went to school somewhere. I went to study fine arts in university. Where? At Buffalo, SUNY State University of New York. Oh. But then after the first semester, I panicked and switched majors. <laughs> what did you panic over? Um, discouragement. <laughs> Who discouraged you? Uh, the professors, uh, the students. I used to hear things like, you're just going to end up on drugs or on the streets. So. I switched majors. <laughs> so how did you find your way back? I it just I don't know, it just never left me as much as I studied a million other things. Uh -huh. um, including old, finance, I think. Yes, finance, law, international relations. Um, I still did an art history diploma. Uh huh. Uh, Somewhere. At Sorbonne in Paris. Sorbonne. Oh. Yeah. So that was fine, but still You say the Sorbonne. Oui. Yeah, oh. yes. <laughs> for how long was that? Uh, I was there for a year. Was that too much fun? Too much. Way too much. <laughs> <laughs> did you speak do you speak French? Oui, je parle français. Oh yeah, I speak French. So, now when um, did you come back to Kenya? In twenty thirteen. Uh huh. Yeah. And what what did you start doing when you got back? I immediately went to start working in a law firm. Uh huh. Are you a lawyer? No. Well, I studied law, but I'm not a lawyer. Technically, I haven't gone to Kenya School of Law. Yeah. So in Kenya, I'm not a lawyer, but I've worked with law firms. Did you get a degree, a law degree somewhere? Yes. Yeah. From in, where? In England. Uh-huh. Yeah, at LSE. Uh-huh. Yeah. So I have a law degree. At LSE, London School of Economics? Yes, but <laughs> it's just not what makes me happy. Like, it's, like no, no offense to any lawyers and any financiers out there. Yay for everyone, but it's just not what I want to do. So, uh -huh. yeah, so they've, they've given me a lot of skills and a lot of discipline, and I use those skills for other things. Uh -huh. um, but it's just not who I am. So, when did you decide <laughs> yeah. to focus on art? It's, I don't think it's like a decision. It wasn't like, when did you decide? It's not like I woke up one morning and decided, now I'm going to be an artist. It's always been there. It's just that I have, I think I have always just been fighting it uh -huh. because um, everyone else tells you, oh, you're smart enough to do this. Why don't you do this? It'll make you more money. Um, and then you think, okay, maybe I should do this because it'll make more money. But then the, the painting thing, it's like a, it's like a, it's like a tick in your head that just doesn't, it doesn't stop. It's like you, you just don't stop thinking about it. It's almost like a, like a demon, or not a demon, it's like a spirit that's not leaving you alone. Uh -huh. So you just have to, you can't escape it. I can't escape it. I've stopped trying to escape it. So now I'm just like, you know what? I'm an artist. So Margareta, honestly, it uh -huh. comes and goes. Uh -huh. Like, I'm not going to lie to you. When I came back home, I was like, oh, there's no art scene, whatever. My sister introduced me to Corona Trust. I met people like Polonditi who give me like a space to work from. And I was like, okay, now I'm going to be an artist. Then I freak out and then I go back to something else. Uh -huh. Then that something else makes me so unhappy. Then I go back to art and I'm like, oh, I'm so happy. Then I freak out again. So I'm not going to say that I'm not going to freak out again. But I think now I won't freak out. I think now I'm good. Um, I genuinely believe now I'm good. It's just that it's been like a back and forth. It's like something internal that I've been fighting, which uh -huh. now I'm not going to fight anymore. Please God, don't let me fight anymore. Like all the spirits, ancestors, come help me. <laughs> <laughs> and so are you based somewhere now? Yes, I'm based from Brush 2. Uh -huh. Brush 2 Art, uh -huh. and I also work from home. 
I know you've been experimenting a lot. Yes. And you explained to me that you this one you're painting on glass. Is that yeah. right? Yeah. Um, so this one is actually paper and glass. This? Yes. Uh huh. And this is a deliberate um, hammer to the middle of the painting that I did. Oh dear. Oh. So I broke the glass deliberately. Oh my goodness. After I finished. And then I... Show me right here. Yes, this is oh. deliberate. That and is then, so funny. Why? What happened? It's not what happened. It's what why, I was why, trying uh, to communicate. Okay, tell me. <laughs> Uh huh. Yeah, it's part of my muffled voices series. Right? It's part of what? My muffled voices series. Okay. Okay. Yeah, which is sexual, physical, emotional, mental abuse of women. Uh huh. And this fact that it's very hard to convey those messages, or people feel frustrated that they can't. Women rather feel con frustrated that they can't talk about that stuff. Mm -hmm. So it's part of it. But this oh, is, this is it. Yeah. Now the one behind us is yeah. also. It's unfortunately it is under glass. So you this is paper. Paper. This is paper. Uh huh. But it's mixed media on paper. So this is ink and acrylic. Oh. Yeah. These are both women. The three three faces. Yes. Oh. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Is this part of muffled? Yes. It uh huh. Is. Yeah. And now we have one more over here. It's easy, but it's also a bit. It's under glass, so it's difficult. Yeah, the reflection will... will yeah, it distorts. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> this is also that series. Yes, it is. But you've taken that concept to another level, yeah. which I think is good. Yeah. I mean, it's interesting. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. I, I really, really appreciate it. Thank you.